friends and fans of OSG, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Alyssa Walther and I'm a product engineer with OSG USA. And today we are wrapping up our two part series on the AE VML series. This is the A brand and mill AE VML series. And today specifically, we're going to be talking about straight wall finishing uh, from the pocket that we roughed out in our last, sec in our last session. Uh, but before we get over to the machine, I just want to say a reminder, if you haven't already, please subscribe to OSG's YouTube channel by clicking that red subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, as well as LinkedIn. And as always, if you have any questions during this segment, please put them into the comments section and send them all, over, all on over to us. And at the end of this segment, I'm going to try and answer any and all the questions you guys have. So that being said, we're going to get over to the machine. You guys are going to check out the AE VML long length of cut tool. We're going to drop 36 millimeters down to the very bottom of this pocket that we roughed out. And we're going to do a one shot finishing pass along the straight walls. So let's check it out. All right, welcome back for those of you that just logged in with us. What you guys just saw uh, running live on our machine just now was the OSG A brand AE VML long length of cut tool designed for both trochoidal style roughing and semi roughing as well as for finishing. And what you guys just saw there was a one shot finishing pass. So what do I mean by finishing? Well, it's traditionally the last part of a milling operation where you really want to get things right on, right on size, beautiful type of uh, wall finishes. Surface roughness is very low. Uh, minimal deflection and chatter in the corners. That's what we're talking about. And specifically one shot finishing means that we could take, because this was a long length of cut tool, we could take that tool, drop it all the way down to the very bottom of the pocket and uh, do a couple passes around to finish the side wall, uh, finish the side wall up. So we actually did two passes, if you guys noticed. The first pass we did was a 3 thousandths width of cut followed by a 1 thousandths width of cut. We did this at 3,600 RPM and 20 inches per minute. Now, the thing with a one-shot finishing is that you are at an extended overhang length, which means you always are going to ba battle chatter and vibration and deflection, especially in the cases where you have corners. Now, this is the pocket, and we kind of adjusted the pocket a little bit to have some corners that were a little more open, and we adjusted the pocket to have it so it's a little bit more tight. And in those tighter corners especially is where you're going to see and hear those telltale signs of chatter. It's going to go, <laughs> and you're going to see those vibration marks. In, uh, reflected in the surface finish. So what you should be seeing now is the ref, uh, the surface finish of, of the tool that we just cut. You can take a look in that corner. It's nice and clean. The surface is bright and shiny. And that's and that's a good tool for finishing. That's the one-shot finishing tool, the AE VML. Now, if you think that, hey, well, I've got this other tool. It's got a 36 millimeter length of cut. Let's see if, uh, if I can't do the same thing uh, that the AE VML tool did. Well, let's check out a conventional tool, four flute tool, doing that exact same thing in, a, in this 1045 carbon steel. Check it out.
right, so what you guys were just watching was uh, a conventional four flute end mill that had the length of cut required to drop all the way down to the bottom of the pocket and do a one-shot finishing style pass. Um, so what did we hear there? So it didn't quite sound as smooth as the AEVML did it. In the corners especially, as I said before, is where these types of tools will traditionally tend to struggle the most. And you heard that in the corners, and you see that reflected on the surface finish of the part as well. Look right into that tight corner, you're gonna see those telltale uh, diagonal kind of vibration marks is exactly what they are, they're vibration marks. And in a lot of cases, that's just not an acceptable finish for uh, for people who are looking for either very straight walls or very high surface finishes. Um, so what I t didn't tell you about the AEVML actually is a lot of our customers, if they're not necessarily looking for the greatest of uh, surface roughness, sometimes their concern is more so the straightness of the wall, meaning they have a tolerance from top to bottom where the wall can't deviate too much one way or the other. The straightness of the wall has to be pretty much on point. So we did run a dial indicator along that wall, and we found with this dial indicator from top to bottom, the, the wall straightness of the VML tool only deflected less than two microns, okay? So less than two microns, which is really great. Now flip it over to this conventional tool. Now we see the chatter. Um, we know the surface finish isn't as high quality. We ran the dial indicator up and down the wall, and we saw between six and eight microns of uh, wall deflection. Um, and depending on your part, maybe that's acceptable, maybe it's not. What I didn't tell you, however, is to get this conventional tool to run the way it did, we had to go from 3,600 RPM down to 1,000 RPM on the spindle rotation speed. And we had to go from 20 inches a minute with the VML down to a whopping six inches a minute uh, for, for this conventional tool. So again, you're just going to reduce your cycle time if you're not, I'm sorry, you're going to increase your cycle time if you're not utilizing the right tool for the application. The VML tool was designed for trochoidal or high efficiency milling in mind, as well as straight walls and really great finishes, okay? Now, if a long length of cut tool just really isn't in your wheelhouse, or if you need, say, a, a reduced neck tool because you're gonna be using it in multiple operations on your part, that's totally okay. We got no beef with that. In fact, we've got a tool for you. Uh, and here I'm talking about the AELN VMS tool, which is OSG's stub length of cut, long reach with a reduced neck tool. And this is also for sidewall pocketing and side milling as well for deeper, longer reaches. So let's take a look at the AELN VMS tool in this 1045 carbon steel doing that same finishing pass. All right, so what you guys were just watching was the A brand AELN VMS tool, which is OSG's stub length of cut, long reach with a reduced neck tool for side milling and pocketing. Um, now, you might have noticed that with this style tool, you are limited by the length of cut. Whereas with the VML, it was a long length of cut, we could drop it down, take a one-shot finishing pass. You can't do this with this style tool. What you have to do is known as Z-level machining, meaning you go down as far as you can, as far as the length of cut allows, and you do your one pass around the, around the part, you drop it down another bit, and you do that finishing pass, you drop it down, you do another bit. So this is going to increase cycle time a bit, which is okay, but as long as, uh, this is still a long overhang type of application, meaning that this type of tool still is subject to those problems and issues with chatter, vibration, and deflection. So the least OSG can do is, if you need this type of tool, that's totally fine, but let's give you a tool that'll help to alleviate those potential problems of chatter and vibration, and that's the AELN VMS tool. So we've got you covered for the long one-shot finishing type of operations, as well as the Z-level type machining and roughing operations with the LN VMS tool. All right, so with that being said, I want to see what kind of questions you guys have for me. So we're going to take it over to the queue uh, and see what kind of questions we've got. 
Alyssa, Sean asked earlier on uh, what diameter end mill were we using for uh, the AEVML testing? Sean, uh, that's a great question, and I apologize I didn't say that before. For the demo, we were running a 12 millimeter tool. Okay, so it was a 12 millimeter tool with a 36 millimeter depth of cut. We were finishing, we did semi finishing pass with three thousandths uh, radial step over, and then we finished it off uh, just to get it real pretty uh, at a one thousandths uh, radial step over. Great question, Sean. Thank you. Uh, further, Keith wanted to know, uh, we said that this was a 36 millimeter axial depth of cut, but what was the actual uh, flute length on that end mill? Ooh, well, it is a 3D tool. So we probably had 38, I, I'm sorry, I got a little support in the back there because I don't have uh, the, the dimensions memorized, but we it was a 38 millimeter depth of, uh, length of cut for a 36 millimeter depth of cut. So just for your reference, these VML tools go from uh, six millimeter to 12 millimeter, and then we have inch equivalents, quarter inch to a half of an inch, and we have those length of cuts in both three times D as well as four times D. And we say that as the max depth of cut because clearly we give a little bit extra tolerance on the length of cut so that you can go a full three times D, especially like you saw in this case was 36 mil. Great question. Thank you. Keith, right? Yep. Thanks, Keith. Uh, Rob asked if we were using milling shocks or hydraulic holders and what we generally recommend for milling. Uh, milling, in this case, we use mill chucks. Um, mill chucks is our, at least in our lab, is our preferred uh, method for, for milling and holding our end mills. Um, but we've also used hydraulics as well. They have very good clamping power. Um, uh, for the smaller sizes, I'd say, you know, the, the collets might be okay. You probably aren't going to have as much gripping force. But, yeah, our standard in, in our lab here, we're, we were using mill chucks. Yeah, I agree with you, Alyssa. Typically, you know, milling chucks and hydraulic holders are going to give you the best clamping force. And uh, that's really going to be one of our main priorities when we're doing any sort of milling, uh, specifically uh, roughing, where we want to reduce the risk of that tool getting pulled out of the holder. Pull out and deflection. And for those of you, uh, that, that mysterious voice in the background, that's Pete Genuso. He's the engineering manager. He's kind of helping me to field some of these questions and, and let me know what questions are out there. So if you hear some weird voice that's not mine, that's him over there in the background. <laughs> All right, well, those were great, great questions, and I really, really appreciate the, that from you guys. Um, I think I mentioned what the offering was for the, long neck, uh, for the long length of cut tools. As far as the reduced neck tools go, we go from a quarter inch up to one inch, a little bit bigger with the, with the long neck tools, and we go from six mil up to 12 mil with those tools as well. And for your reference, we were doing this in carbon steel, 1045, um, and for the VML tool, we were roughly in the ballpark of about 430 surface foot with about a thou and a half per tooth chip load. Um, but thank you again so much for those questions. And if you feel that you have an application that you really want to try these tools out, we are super pumped about that. And there's a couple ways to get a hold of us. Uh, one, if you if you'd have a DM, uh, a district manager, an OSU district manager, please feel free to reach out to them and get those test tools right into your shop. Uh, alternately, you can go to um, to call our uh, to call our customer service department at the 1-800 that's across the screen right now. That'll get you in contact with our customer service department, our inside technical department, or even if you request it, our engineering department. Or another option, we like to give our customers options. Go to our website, osgtool.com. You can click on the virtual engineering visit, and at your leisure, you can schedule either a 30-minute or a 60-minute consultation with any member of our uh, engineering department. Whoever's available will do a Zoom call with you, and we'll discuss your application, and we'd be happy to do so. So last thing before we go here, OSG loves to shower our fans and our, uh, and our people with, uh, with appreciation and gratitude for being here with us today. So if you like the looks of this here, A brand, A game, dome ornament, also known as a hat. <laughs> this is going to be free to you guys. How do you guys get it? In the comments section right now, write a brand, a game, and a member of our, of our marketing department will, will reply to your comment and figure out a way to get you this hat for free. So thanks again so much, guys, for being here. Uh, this was the second of the series of the AEVML for trachoidal roughing uh, or high-efficiency roughing, finishing, uh, one-shot finishing, all of that good stuff. Uh, this is the A brand AN Mill series. So we hope you love it. We hope to hear from you guys soon. Have a great weekend and we'll see you guys next time.